Hello guys, today we are going to hash our password we made in last video. The reason why we have to hash our password is if we see our database we may be full. Right, in here, here you can see the plain password. So anyone can know the password so easily. So this is so insecure. So that is why we need to hash our password. So to do hash password, we are going to use the bitcrypt. Uh, if we go to website for bitcrypt in here, they say a library to help you hash password. And then we will see how we will use this. So if we go down below, Uh, first, we need to install this via npm. So first, we need to go to terminal here, and we are going to download that npm install bitcrypt save. And then we go to website again to see how we need to use this. So there is an explanation how we can use the big creep so clearly. So we're gonna start. So we are gonna start the hashing our password with this way. So first to go to editor. So first I want to see the routing for register we made last video. So in here, uh, through Postman, we put our information and then we got a request of that information and then we put those information into the database and in here, by typing saving, we're gonna save all the information in the MongoDB. But before doing that, we need to hash our password with Bcrypt. In this part, we need to do something. So to do something, first we go to user model, and then we go down there. So here we are gonna make the function for hash our password. So first we need to grab the user schema. Your schema is this one. And we are gonna type pre and save. This means before saving, like in here, we're gonna save. So, before saving, we're gonna do something in here. So, and then we're gonna type function and next. I'm gonna explain about this later. And we're gonna make one variable user this. This means user schema. Uh, you will see how we will use this one. So from here, we're gonna see the official documentation for the big crib. In here, we're gonna put this in here. So first, we will use big crib. So to use this big crib, we're gonna bring out the big crib. We download it require what is this require big bit okay and so we are gonna bring the big crib and we need to I generate salt Save this one, sort rounds, and if we see here, they set the sort rounds variable to 10. And this means the sort round will be 10 character. So in here, after that, yeah, we're gonna have the callback function. function after generating sort we can have we can either have error or salt 
and then if we got error we're gonna just return next with error how this next mean is we are not gonna do anything down below we just go to save so, so this means we go to just this here so now we are in between in here so if we do next we are going down below without doing anything in between in here so we go back to here and then if we didn't get any error now we really need to hash our password with the soul to be just made it so first we type big creep and hash and if we see here here my plain text password this means yeah. if we see here just the one two three four five six seven this is the plain password so we're gonna get the user schema user and this one user schema and then this password and then we're gonna put the salt we just generated and then we will get the callback function if we have error and there will be error in there and then if we made it this hash is generated so as we did before if we got the error again so we will just do next again with not doing anything but if we didn't have any error so we are gonna do our user password hash so we generated hash with the soul so this hash this hash will be our password so instead of just putting here with plain password uh, we are gonna put this hash password but in here there's one more thing we need to think about so whenever we do something with this user schema that process will go through this part so whenever that goes through this part uh, it will just uh, generate sort again and then hash the password again so that will mess up our password so to prevent uh, from happening that situation uh, we are gonna do something between here so we need to let this process happen only when we modify the password so we can just do like this user is modified only password only when password is modified this will triggered and if not we are gonna do next again oh i'm sorry i made a one mistake needs to go this part so now we are done with hashing our password so we if we summarize it really briefly uh, first we are gonna put our data in here we got the request from the postman or client so and then we put the data into our Mongo, mongodb but we didn't just save the data yet into the mongodb um, so before that we are gonna do something in here before saving uh, in here we're gonna get the big creep so we first uh, generate the soul so we will uh, set the 10 character into salt so we use the soul so first uh, we generate the salt in here and then if we don't get any 
error here, uh, we are going to hash our password with the sort we just made in here. And then we put that hash into our user password. Uh, we don't have to implement this process whenever we go through this user model. So we just need to make this condition. Only when we modify our password, we will go through this part. And we are also gonna make the token later, but this part and the token part will be a little bit confusing. So I hope you can bear with that, but you will eventually understand it soon. So I hope you did really well. So keep it up and thank you for watching this video and see you later. Thank you.